G'day mobile gaming fans, it's Michael Raw from Raw Apps here yet again and today I'll be doing Ballings from 14 Gaming Corp or in Roman numerals 14. Remember kids, a quick game is a good game so get out into nature and limit your screen time and don't forget to check out my Gamer Court t-shirts on Teespring. So this one, uh, this game, I was asked to do this uh, review by, um, by the dev team. The, immediate, the first thing I notice, and I'll, I'll just jump straight in, I'll show you. So this is a tilt control game. Okay. And it's, it's, it's hard, it's hard. The difficulty, I think, the difficulty is too great on this one. Okay, so as you can see there, when you hit your uh, high score, the color changes on the platform. So the the actual game is is extremely difficult. I think they've got the difficulty setting way too high, or the actual the game mechanics uh, is is way too difficult because I think there's either something off with the platform friction. It's very difficult. So as you can see, an extremely difficult game. So the the I don't know whether it's just the the plat the the platforms are just too close together. It's not very forgiving. So if you just touch it, and the actual the acceleration on the ball when you're on the platform is extremely tricky. Now actually, you do get better gameplay when you had, have the, I'm actually holding the, the mobile phone um, in an upright position, but if you lay it um, in more of a horizontal position, um, you're gonna get a little bit easier gameplay, but my, 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 my highest score is only eight. <laughs> so I'm not doing very well, but I think they need to, to, to look at the actual difficulty of this game because it, it's probably going to turn a lot of people off. Um, you want to be able to progress a little bit through. I, I think there's merit in having, an, having a really difficult game um, and a really challenging game, but challenging versus difficulty, there's, there's quite a, a distinction between that. The graphics, the isometric graphics, actually, I quite like. I think they're, they're fairly modern and um, they suit the game. I probably would say that the the you know the rectangular platforms are probably they get a bit boring, so they could mix it up into something else. You know, you could have all sorts of different shapes. Um, you could have moving moving platforms. Um, you could have color changes uh, without having to hit high score. So you know, different platform colors. I'm not too sure on the on the background. I'm I'm not overly keen on that color. Like, what is it? turquoise or something what would you call that aqua but the fonts um, and the menus let's have a quick look at the menu here I like I like the fonts I like this red um, the menu is great you've got your unlockables so as you progress up your score you know you can watch videos to unlock so good in-app currency there and what does this one do oh so you can have different trails that's pretty cool so you need different high scores. So those things are actually really well done and the, and the graphics there are really well done. I, I like that. Um, now you've got your music on and off. 
leaderboards and your in-app currency where is it restore? oh that's to restore and then no ads is a dollar 29 so actually on the cheaper end of normal and but there's something going on with the the either the gravity settings well i think it's the platform friction i think i mean it's it's nearly right here we go i'm going all right now maybe i'm just not playing it long enough but it just I think actually if they kept the same gravity settings or the platform friction and just moved some of the barriers especially when they go from and there's no side platform I think that's a bit weird it just sort of rolls off if they move the barriers just slightly just space them out a little bit more I think it probably add something probably by about 25 percent just just increase the barrier gap uh, just to just to decrease that difficulty to make to make it challenging but not way too challenging and obviously there's probably a randomized um, function on these platforms as they because they, they do change every single game that you play there it, it's no two games are the same which is actually that's a good um, quality of the game so I think it's got merit, I think it's got potential, I think there's some work to be done in the game mechanics, there's some work to be done in the graphics, but not a huge amount. I think, uh, I'm not too sure how much testing this game did, or this game had. I think if the testing was done with a good enough audience, then they probably would have come out with all these uh, suggestions and before launch would have nutted these things out so I'm just going to be doing a bit of, bit of gameplay so you can hear the music because you can't the way that I'm recording at the moment and today I've actually got my I don't know if you can see that I've got the easy SMX headset on uh, with the with the flashing lights don't you like that that's cool hey So remember, kids, a quick game is a good game, so get it into nature and limit your screen time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll be bringing a few more indie game reviews uh, very, very shortly. I've got a few more requests to do some. Overall, I do like this concept. I think it does need a bit of work, but uh, overall, pretty well done. So stay tuned till my next review. Thank you.